in the third quarter and come back and win it. An incredible comeback, and they just kept fighting. Does it sound familiar? Round two, game six last year, down 25. They come back to win as we send it over to Jared Greenberg. Hold on, there is a water bath first that must commence. And that is officially baptizing Paul George back into the Clipper lineup. Are you sure you missed three months? Man, I got a shout out to Get Ready Crew, Connor, Wes, uh, Chad, Sean, Bo, uh, Dante Jones, uh, Sammy, Rodney. I got to shout out those guys for getting me ready to play. Uh, they battled, they tested me in practices, and, um, you know, it, it, it prepared me for tonight. Paul, you have come back from all sorts of devastating injuries throughout your career. Ty Lue told us before tonight's game that you had every excuse in the book to call this a season. What was it that made the decision for you that you wanted to return? I mean, first and foremost, I couldn't do this without God. You know, he strengthened me, he healed my body. Um, but, you know, just having an idol like Kobe Bryant, who, you know, he plays and stuff like this. And I always hold myself to a high standard. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, when I'm finished, I want to look at my career and say I gave everything I had. I wanted to help my guys. I didn't want to leave them out here hanging for the rest of the season. I felt good. So, uh, you know, it was only MVP, right to come back. MVP, MVP, <laughs> Reggie Jackson saying MVP. Paul, for the fourth time this season, your squad has come from 24 or more points down to win a game. First, what is it about your team that allows you to dig that hole? And what is it about this team that allows you to get out of those holes? I mean, we just, we, we always know what it is. When we come out, we play flat. Um, we're, we're uh, just call it what it is, we're a poor team. We don't execute well, we don't finish well. Um, we don't shoot the ball well, we don't defend well. Uh, it just comes down to effort and energy. And uh, you can always pick that, you know, you look at every game that we go down big, it's because the other team's playing harder than us. Uh, but when we turn it on and, and you know, we, we, we finally get into the game, uh, we give ourselves a chance. And uh, it's the reason why, you know, we we always think we can win a game. Do you think you'll be able to get away with that in the playoffs? No, we have, though. <laughs> uh, we had a history in the playoffs of doing so, but um, not where we're at now. You know, we, we're potentially a seventh or eighth seed. We're going to be on the road. Uh, we, we already had a disadvantage to start the series um, if we get into the playoffs. So we got to nip that in the bud and, and become a playoff team early. Want to let everybody know in on, let everybody in on the secret of what you told me at halftime? Uh, I should. I saw him in the halftime uh, in, in the back, and he and he said, hopefully, that he sees me after the end of the game. I should have promised that I'll see you at the end of the game. Uh, but uh, it's good to see you, Jay. Paul, welcome back. Appreciate it. Thank you. League's better with him. Back on the floor. He was a star tonight. Paul George, 34 points, and they might be getting Norman Powell. They could be dangerous if they get into that play in and into the playoffs. For Coach Stan Van Gundy, for Jared Greenberg, the rest of our crew, Sean Gurchikoff, Matt Lip in the truck. I'm Brian Anderson, wishing you a good evening from L.A. After this short break, we'll send you to our Atlanta studios for the NBA on TNT postgame. It's presented by Kia. Clippers with a comeback win tonight on their home floor to snap a five-game losing streak.